This is another way to, in, in my mind, to save hot rodding. So you want that exhaust sound, everything else. This sounds exactly like it does on gasoline. Hi, my name is Mike Copeland. I'm the CEO at Arrington Performance. Today we brought down our 1948 Chevrolet pickup powered by a supercharged 6.2 liter LS engine and it runs on hydrogen. So this tag says it all, zero emission. The only output from the tailpipes on this is a little bit of water and once the engine comes to temperature, there's not even any water. It just comes out as steam and disappears. It's a program that we've been working on for about two years now. Uh, I partnered with Bosch Engineering Group and I hired their engineers to come in and help us do this. But uh, we've made great progress. We debuted at SEMA last year. Uh, it's a running, driving vehicle. Uh, we can take it pretty much anywhere we want to go. Right now we're a little limited on capacity in the tank, but next, the next two weeks we'll solve all that. We are over 400 horsepower on the tires right now, and that's an injector limited. Uh, because the only injectors, every part in it from a hydrogen perspective is experimental. And because the injectors were never intended for a supercharged V8, they, make a, they made them really small. And we run 16 of them to get enough hydrogen to make the power levels. We're clicking it off at 5,000 RPM, and we're still, uh, like I say, running, we're at the edge of the pressure threshold. Now we could turn the pressure up with a different regulator and get more fuel, but we have actual injectors being made, and as soon as they're available, we'll put those in, and, uh, and then it'll, we'll be able to turn it up. I think we'll make between 550 and 600 with it once we turn the injectors up. But hydrogen, we use it as a gas in this. You can use it as a liquid or a gas. It has to be stored, has to be cooled, and maintain a cooling to keep it as a liquid. So uh, we use gas. Uh, hydrogen, for those that don't know, is all around us. It is the lightest element known to man. There's a numerical system for the measurement of weight of a gas. Hydrogen is the number two. There's not a number one because they left a spot just in case they found something. The air around us is a 34, to give you an idea how light hydrogen is. From a safety standpoint, if you kind of measure it out, it's actually safer than gasoline. You can't throw it on anything, you can't splash it on anything, it's not going to run on the ground. All of it's just going to go up. So uh, it's much safer that way.